no kill my son. Hey guys, it's Jordan Byers, and today we have five subscription boxes to open today and review and talk about. So this is gonna be a long video. Get a snack, get your drink, and let's go. Let's freaking go. So how about we just start off with Birch Box. You guys know that I got a history with Birch Box. <sighs> Last month was the first month that I started back up with Birchbox, so if you missed that video, you should go check it out. I have a whole playlist of subscription box unboxing videos, so. All right, let's just dive in. Uh, not gonna lie, this box isn't very cute. It's just kinda like, eh, eh. All right, we got, mm, okay. First thing I see is the Amika Perk Up Dry Shampoo. I'm always about getting sample dry shampoos. Let's sniff it though. I'm just gonna... Whoa, that's powerful. Do you see that? Mmm, smells really good. It smells very floral. Floral, florally like... Uh, huh. so apparently the smell is sea buckthorn berry, but it smells like a flower. I have no idea what sea buckthorn berry is, but I like it and this seems like a... You see that? That's freaking a powerful, like, <coughs> if you know what I mean. I'm so excited. I'm leaving for VidCon tomorrow. I don't know when this video is going up, but I'm leaving for VidCon tomorrow, so I'm pre-recording a bunch of videos because I'll be in California for a couple days. So I'm really excited to be opening all these subscription boxes because sample sizes are perfect for traveling, especially when I, I'm going all the way to California, so I have a big suitcase with everything I could ever need. Ever. So I'm trying to pack lightly and this is perfect. I'm going to bring this and I'm gonna My hair is gonna be smelling good fresh, but it's also gonna be fluffy because I love the texture that dry shampoo gives my hair I'm really excited to use this. It smells fabulous Next thing in here is an Estee Lauder double wear stay in place foundation. I'm so happy with this sample size like you I hate absolutely hate getting like the sample packets of foundation who's ever gonna use a sample packet and rip off the thing and put foundation on their face who's do who who next thing we have a mellow matte liquid lip paint in the color Tehran Terran ooh that is really 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 pretty and thin. I like that consistency. It looks very pigmented too. Oh girl, yes. I'm excited for that. Next we have a blush duo by, well who's this by? The Beauty Crop and it's called Papaya Don't Preach. Isn't that, I think that's a similar name to the uh, Too Faced Papa, Papa Don't Peach shade of blush. But it's a duo, I think this is a Oh, it's a cream blush as well as a powder blush, but the the powder and the cream are very different. Ooh, wait, but I really like that powder one. It's so like peachy. <laughs> no wonder it's called Papa Don't Preach or Papaya Don't Preach. Ain't eh, you already you sleeping? Last thing we have in here is a Visanti Brighten Up New Skin Amplifying Moisturizer. And to be completely honest, I'm not mad about getting this because I am always in the market for a new moisturizer, especially when it's in a pretty decent size tube. I hate getting moisturizers in those sample like plastic packets because I'm never gonna use them. I just throw them out or like give them to somebody. But the fact that this came in a pretty decent sample size, I'm really excited to use this and I'll probably also bring that to California as well as the blush duo because it is so so stinking pretty now we are on to boxycharm i have never received boxycharm before but i get so many requests saying oh my gosh you should get boxycharm it's the best subscription box ever and so i decided to get it i was on a wait list for a while but i finally got on the list this month and i'm so stinking excited so right on the top we have a luxie 640 pro precision 
tapered brush. What? I feel it got bent in the package, so now it's just like this. Can I bend it back to shape? <laughs> well, I don't feel like I would ever use this brush for anything just because it's like, it's just so fluffy like it, I don't know. I don't really like this brush. I'm not really down with the brush, but I do love other Luxie brushes. Like I love Luxie brushes. I just, I don't have any use for this one. Sorry, not sorry. Moving on, we've got an Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder in the color Illuminati. Illuminati? This is a loose highlight powder. Come on, get out of there, buddies. Come on, let me see you glow. Let me see you work your stuff. Okay, so I got a some. So I'm just gonna take some of this loose powder on my finger and swatch it on my hand. <gasps> Girl! Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I'm putting, I'm putting this on right now. I'm putting this on. <gasps> girl, girl. <gasps> I was wearing a ColourPop highlighter before. So this is what my highlight looks like before the powder. And this is what, it, <gasps> it just has the most beautiful golden, that applied literally so freaking beautiful. It literally just blends so nicely into my skin. Yes, 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 I'm bringing this. I'm bringing this on vacation. I, oh my gosh. <gasps> yeah, artist couture. Mm -hmm. so next we have a Real Her Be Your Own Kind of Beauty Shadow Palette. It looks like it has a bunch of darker toned, warm nude colors. Let's just swatch a couple of them here. Ooh. I just wanna see the pigmentation of these real quick. Oh, these are really soft. So there's a little swatch. <laughs> Digging in, we've got an Ofra liquid lipstick in the shade Santa Ana. If you saw my Nikki Tutorials collab with them review, I didn't really, I wasn't really down with the pigmentation or the consistency of Ofra's liquid lipsticks, but this one seems to be thicker than Nikki's collab and pretty pigmented too. I don't know how it's gonna be on the lips, but I'm gonna have to give this a try because that is a beautiful color and every brand deserves a second chance. Okay, so last thing in here. Girl, they gave me three sheet masks. Three, not one, not, not a sample packet of face masks. We got three full sheet masks. I love sheet masks. Holy crap. BoxyCharm is literally the best subscription box ever. They literally gave me all makeup things and sheet masks. Like, all of this is makeup and a brush and sheet masks. How could, I, I can't even complain about this. This is, and everything is a full size. Everything is full size. This is a, well, I don't know if this one is full size, but it's big. We got a full size Ofra lipstick, full size brush, full size palette. Boxy Charm, you have outdone yourself, honey. You are legit. Although I do have to say that Boxy Charm, I think, is twelve dollars more than Sephora Play, Ipsy, and what is it, Birchbox. So it you do pay a little bit more for this, but twelve dollars more in full size products that I actually like. Um, yes, please. Thank you very much. All right, moving on to Ipsy. Ipsy's usually my favorite bag just because Birchbox kind of never shows up Ipsy. <laughs> not gonna lie. So, first thing in here I see a teeny tiny little travel beauty blender. Um, I don't really like beauty blenders. I just, I prefer brushes. I've never been down with beauty blenders. I mean, I was when I first started makeup because everybody told me that beauty blend, because everybody told me that beauty blenders were it. Like the beauty blender was the only thing that you could blend your makeup with. 
nothing else, nothing else. Then I got my very first full set of makeup brushes and I started using actual foundation brushes and I never went back to a beauty blender. So I think I'm gonna put this in my giveaway pile. Bloop. Next thing we have in here is the NYX Whipped and Fute. And this is in the shade Pink Cloud. I've never seen these before. Is this new? <gasps> Wait, it's like, you guys, this is so weird. The formula is literally whipped. Smells really good, pigmentation's really good, color's really pretty. Um, okay, you can use this on lip and cheek. I'm really excited to try this. I'm gonna have to bring this on vacation. Notice I'm bringing everything on vacation. I'm gonna be, <laughs> I'm gonna be going to VidCon with a full face of stuff that's fallen off my face because I never used it before and it turned out to be crap. Oh dear. Then we have a Balm Springs Long Wearing Blush and this is the shade In Full Swings. I don't really like getting these teeny tiny samples of blush because like it's not big enough. It's not big enough for my big blush brush to like really get a... Well, I guess this one's bigger. This one's better than their um, their contour ones. Oh my gosh. When they give out contour samples, they do it in these teeny tiny little squares and I'm like, are you kidding me? You think I can put on my contour like with this much of contour that you gave me a sample of? This one is better. Thank you. Thank you at the Balm for stepping up their sample size. Just the perfect amount of pigment. I, okay, I know this is weird, but I don't really like when blushes are extremely pigmented, like in your face pigmentation, because I'm the type of person that's super heavy handed, like on accident, I can't really help it. So when I have a super pigmented blush and I just like go ham, it's literally like clown cheek. So I appreciate a really light, light pigmentation blush like this because you can build it up, you know what I mean? Next we have a Koki Professional Nail Polish in the color Atlantis At Last. You guys, that is such a stunning color. <gasps> Ooh, it's like electric blue. I love getting scent nail polish because I don't really buy nail polish for myself. I just never think to buy nail polish, so getting scent nail polish is the best. Am I the... I love the smell of nail polish. Is that weird? I just love the smell of wet nail polish for some reason. It's just, it's fabulous. Last thing we have in here is a Saint Tropez Gradual Tan Tinted Body Lotion. Ooh, and that's a really good sample size. I've never tried anything by Saint Tropez or Saint Tropez, whatever you, however you say it, but my mom has and she swears by it, so this should be pretty good. Let's give it a little sample sample. Put some on my arm. I'm gonna use this in California as well. You know, already know. I'm not trying to be, you know. <gasps> Ooh. Can you see that? Where it darkened my skin right there. Wait, that's really pretty. Oh, people always get so butt hurt when I say that I'm pale. You guys don't understand. I'm actually really pale. It's just I have two huge studio lights right here and I'm in like my basement with no windows so I don't have any natural light. So the moral of the story is I have huge lights that make me look a different color than I actually am. In reality, I'm like a pale white ghost, but these studio lights make me look tanner than I really am. So not gonna lie, I kind of like that. So you could actually see me and I'm not just like translucent, but <laughs> yeah. Okay, moving on to face -tory. I never know how to say it right. Is it like face Tory or face -tory? Facetory, fa face Tory. I don't know. I think it's supposed to be like factory, but facetory, facetory. All right. Anyways, right on top it says that I have a code for 20% off, and it's Jordan20. So if you want to get 20% off your first box, this is not an affiliate code or anything. Girl, get you 20% off. Anyways, this is the big box with a ton of face masks. So we have a water balance face mask. We've got it's peck time. I don't really know what that means. I'm guessing this is a uh, awakening AM face mask. I don't know. Then we have a white flower celeb mask. Then a keep cool and let shine 
Intensive Whitening Second Skin Mask. Then we have a Step Solution Anti-Pollution Mask. That's interesting. I love when masks have like the one, two, three steps because it's really fun to do. Then I have the Camellia Mask and this is also moisturizing the packaging of these masks. And then we have a water bomb sheet mask. You guys, I love this subscription box because they literally give you so many masks and they're all amazing. Like I haven't tried a single mask that wasn't amazing from them. So I'm really excited to use these these month, these month. I'm also gonna, I'm gonna bring these to California too because you know I'm trying to be bougie. Bougie in my hotel room putting on face masks. Getting ready to go to VidCon, being extra. Mm, I'm so excited. As you can tell, I can't stop talking about it. I'm so stinking excited, but I'm gonna use these. I'm gonna use these. Last but not least, we have Sephora Play. I actually like hate these bags. I hate the bag that they give us. Like I'm never gonna use a drawstring bag. It's just not, it's not happening Sephora. Give me a freaking actual bag. I know you can afford it. I know you can. I know you can. I pay you for this. Give me an actual zip clothes bag like Ipsy. Okay, just do it. Anyways, let's get into the products. So first we have some Dr. Dennis Gross. Unfortunate last name. Alpha Beta Glow Pad Self Tanner for Face. You know, I was about to start ripping them apart for giving me sample packets, but now that I realize that it's a self tanner pad for your face, I'm actually not mad. If you know me, I am an SPF junkie. I believe in SPF till I die. I am the SPF queen. I am, I reapply every 80 minutes, just like the back of the bottle says, okay, I do. So basically my face never ever ever gets tanned because I'm always like wearing like 300 SPF on my face. I know SPF doesn't really do anything above 50 SPF, but you know I got that, that big old beach hat, I got that suntan lotion, I got about three coats of suntan lotion on my face because I'm not trying to get wrinkles. I'm not trying to get sunspots, I'm not trying to get skin cancer, none of that. So my face is a whole lot lighter than my skin. Like my actual skin is a lot darker than my actual face is. So these will come in handy. Next thing we have in here is um, a teeny tiny little sample of Derek Lamb 10 Crosby Blackout perfume. I don't care. I never, I never, ever, ever use these. I don't like getting them. Next thing we have in here is a, ooh, we've got a Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the color K-Dub. Ooh, girl. Yes, this color. Yes, please. I'm down for that color, yeah. Next we have, we've got a Briegio Curl Charisma. Leave in defining cream. Curl charisma. I'm sorry. Does it look like I have curls? Sephora, does it look like I have curls? Next into the bag, we've got a Tarte Tarte Guard 20 Tinted Moisturizer SPF 20. Yes, yes, I love it. I love it. I'm so excited right now. I'm so excited. So this is tinted moisturizer, so I don't think it's gonna be very full coverage or anything, but that's perfect. That's perfect. I'm gonna wear this to VidCon because SPF. Love it, love it. Okay, so last thing in this Sephora bag that I always throw away is the Don't Blow It BB Fine Hair Styler for fine to medium soft hair by Bumble and Bumble. I guess it's for fine or straight hair and that's what I have, but I don't like, I don't, I don't style my hair. I just literally air dry it and just let it go. Like this hair, I have so much of this long hair. Like I'm literally just about to chop it off. Like, let's just take a look. Do you see? It literally goes down to the bottom, like literally the top of my waist. I, my hair is so stinking long. I don't style it. it, just, I just let it do what it wants to do. So this is irrelevant to me once again. 
<sighs> so long story short Boxy Charm was my favorite, Sephora least favorite. Come on, Sephora, you need to step it up. Step it up, please, honey. Step it up, okay? Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe down below to become part of the hashtag Joby Squad. And I'll see you guys in the next video.